Hey guys, Randy here with an all new Geek World Order video. Man, it is that time of year again. It is Dragon Con time. So, once again, I don't know how I'm going to structure these videos. Um, I think today is just going to be its own video, the travel day, and then I'll just have all the con stuff in another video. But today is Tuesday. Uh, this is the first time I've ever actually driven up on a Tuesday before. Um, I actually bumped my plans up by a day because of uh, Hurricane Adalia. It's not going to hit my area, but it's going to be in the path. A lot of its path is going to be where I was supposed to be driving through tomorrow. So I'm just going to go ahead and get ahead of it. Uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm just going to get into Georgia, get, you know, maybe like a couple hours out of Atlanta, find a, just to find a hotel somewhere to crash for the night. And then I'll head up tomorrow afternoon and kind of finish the last part of the drive. But that's kind of the plan here. So I just stopped for gas. Um, I think the plan is to drive up a little bit, get some lunch. Because you know at some point on this road trip, I'm going to have to hit a Bucky's. So that's kind of my plan there. So that's kind of my plan. Go to Bucky's. Do some driving, get into Georgia, find a hotel, crash for the night, and then uh, we'll pick the we'll pick the driving back up to tomorrow. Get into Atlanta and get to the hotel. So that'll probably be most of what this video covers, kind of up to the point of me checking in. It's probably how I'll do it, but we'll see. But that's how we're gonna start this day, and uh, I think I'm gonna get driving because it's starting to get hot in this car, and I want my air conditioner back. All right, we're inside Bucky's at Daytona Beach. Okay, and this one's got this cool old school looking hot rod here. We're in Daytona, the home of NASCAR. It's got number 82 on it. And there we go, we got Bucky himself with the wheel. High, high tailing it with the brisket. Yo, they got Bucky's wrapping paper, gift wrap, party streamers, confetti, party napkins. We have a whole Bucky's party here, man. Okay, here we go. Here's the Bucky's Halloween shirt. If you've got it, haunt it. Oh, and they've got a little Halloween stuff. Bucky vampire. Okay, that's cool. There's some tumblers. And there's the front of the shirt with a pumpkin. Alright, alright. And more Halloween themed stuff up there. So yeah, of course Bucky's has all this stuff. Alright, here's my basket of Bucky's. Got the blanket because I just realized I need a blanket for my room. Shirts there, some monster. Uh, beaver chips, brisket sandwich, and a piece of fudge. So, yep. All right, I'm going to go check out before I do even more damage to my bank account today. Okay, and I'm seeing this on the way out. They got a big old Bucky's inflatable lawn ornament. Perfect for your Halloween season. So that's cool. So I made it to my hotel in uh, Tipton, Georgia. I'm uh, gonna spend the night here, but uh, I think we might need a little story time, folks. So um, I step. So I kind of started with looking at some hotels in a another area, and I found this place called the Hope Inn. 
Um, yeah, I spent like 40 bucks. That was a terrible idea. Um, the place smelled. It looked like a prison cell on the inside. Uh, there was literally nothing in the area for food. Like, even DoorDash. Like, I pulled up DoorDash and I couldn't do anything. So there was nothing. The, the room smelled. It was hot. So, I honestly, I just did a prepaid thing. So, honestly, I just, I just cut the loss of the 40 bucks. I was like, nah, we're not doing this. I went about another 20 miles down the road. Now I'm in Tifton. I'm at a Super 8, which I got for a decent price. Because uh, apparently at some point I signed up to be a Wyndham Rewards member. And Super 8 is now owned by Wyndham, apparently. So that's cool. So I was able to log in, use the literally the login account that said I'm a, a Wyndham member. So I got a couple of bucks knocked off of it. So yeah, lesson learned. Although I initially tried to get a different Super 8 back in Adele. Apparently I pulled off at the exit where somehow I keep winding up going to like the same Walmart every time I go up to Dragon Con. So it is a Walmart in Adele, which is great. I kind of try to find a hotel there. Um, there was another Super 8 there that was unfortunately full for the night somehow. So that's fine. Drove a little further. I'm now in this hotel and actually it's a, kind of a nice looking hotel. Um, as you can probably see behind me, there's like some art on the wall. There's another art piece over there. So yeah, let's take a look around the room real quick. So yeah, so mirror on the wall. You can tell there's a nice green wall. And there's actually some food over there. I think I'm gonna go walk, find some food. Nice little green accent wall here. Uh, the bed actually looks really nice. It is very nice and comfortable. Carpet looks clean. Everything is nice. Got another piece of artwork over here. So kind of your standard hotel bathroom, so. I, but this is like insane compared to what I was just in a little bit ago. So yeah, lesson learned. And y'all are allowed to call me events on the future. Randy, stop buying the cheapest hotel you can find. This does not work anymore, these cheap hotels. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure if the price of the hotel is like under 60 bucks a night, I don't want it. I don't think I want it at this point anymore. But, uh, so I'm out a few bucks, but that's okay. I, I made sure I had enough money for Dragon Con anyway, so I'm not super concerned on that one. I am perfectly fine eating the loss. I didn't feel safe at that other hotel. It was gross. It literally looked like prison. So, yeah, I was, I, I nope so fast I didn't even take a look around that room, but... That, that's going to be a big dope on that one. So I'm going to get some food. Maybe I'll film some other videos. Maybe I'll get some stuff from the gas station. But I definitely need some food. But uh, I'm here. I'm checked in for the night. I feel comfortable at this hotel. I'm good with it. So I'll spend the night here. And then I'll do about the last three hours of driving, which actually works out perfectly because I leave at the checkout time 11. Um, you know, factor in a little time for some lunch. I'll probably be in Atlanta at the hotel around maybe around three o'clock. So, which is great. I'm absolutely wanting to get there before the rush hour traffic. So that is exactly what I want. I think the timing is gonna work out. So I'm gonna chill around here. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog anything else tonight. If not, I'll see you in the morning. Or if I cut in with anything else, I'll see you then. All right, good morning everyone from Tifton, Georgia. As you can see, it's a little bit rainy out here, but honestly, this is really is like nothing compared to your typical Florida day. Like I said, I'm not expecting it really to be any worse than this, but really once I get up to a certain point and start driving north, I think it's gonna calm down really as we get closer and closer to Atlanta. But you can see it's, a little wet here but but uh i'm gonna go check out from the hotel and just go ahead and start making my way north 
because that's really all we can do at this point. Got a few more hours of driving, but I can also kind of take my time today because um, I don't, like my parking isn't available until like two. I probably should have like, probably should have like selected it from noon, but I also wasn't expecting to come park like a day early. So we'll do that, but otherwise, I think it's gonna be a good day, so I'm gonna get checked out of the hotel and uh, we'll get the day started. All right, so we're continuing our trip here and we made it to the Georgia Buckies. So you knew I was gonna have to hit a Buckies in both states, right? So I've probably been driving for about an hour now. Um, the rain is not bad. It's actually lightening up, which I thought would happen the more north I get. So it's good. Um, I know when I left Tifton, the it wasn't bad but the worst part was the semi trucks on the road and the spray um i noticed that's been lightening up a little bit so uh, i think as i get further north and closer to atlanta that's still gonna be getting better because as this, we're going up the storm is also like going that way so i think the the more it goes like that way and the more I go north the lighter this rain's gonna get and the better it's gonna be but also this is weird like I've never seen a Bucky's look like this before like bro this parking like I imagine there's still gonna be a decent number of people out there but man this is pretty light for the Bucky's traffic like even the gas station, like even the gas pumps aren't that full. Which I don't need gas. I probably I don't think I'm gonna need gas until like I actually start coming back. Like I I haven't even hit half a tank yet on my car. Love this car. Love the gas mileage on it. Um, but yeah. So I'm gonna spend some time here because I've got a little bit of time to waste in on my way up. Honestly, I'm just mostly concerned about staying ahead of the rain and the worst of it. But I think the further north I get, that's not going to be really an issue. So I'm going to stick around here for a little bit anyway, because I got to I got to take my meds and do all the other stuff. And so I got I got some stuff. Honestly, I just wanted to get out of the hotel a little early. And just get on the road i wasn't sure what we were going to see condition wise so that was really more of the thing was getting out there getting ahead of the conditions and then as we go further north i can kind of take my time and i'm probably going to want to hit a walmart get some soda some other things for the room so i have a few things i can do before my you know two o'clock kind of being there before two o'clock when my parking is actually valid for so got plenty of things I can do and I can space them out and not be in a rush that was also the thing I want to make sure I get out a little early so that way if the weather wasn't so good I could take my time and drive carefully so that was really a thing so all right I'm gonna go hang around Bucky's for a little bit like I said I gotta take my meds do my kind of do most of the morning routine here so, all right, book time. All right, had to stop and make a supply run. So we're here in Georgia, so we're going into Kroger because, well, we don't have Kroger's in Florida and I've never been in a Kroger, so here we go. All right, so snack run is done. Although I might need to find a Walmart because they didn't have any like Diet Mountain Dew. And it'd be nice to have some in the room I mean, worst case, I can always just go down to the, oh, what's it, a CVS next to the hotel? Whatever. But if I find a Walmart, I'll stop at a Walmart. But otherwise, snack supply is done. And yeah, I wasn't really impressed with Kroger. It's basically, like, all the signage looks like a Winn-Dixie, which I think they are owned by the same company. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, very, very similar to a Winn-Dixie. So... Overall, not super impressed with Kroger, but uh, 
Yeah, it is what it is, so. All right, and on with the journey. All right, guys, so pretty much the rest of the drive was pretty boring, so. But I made it to Atlanta. I'm in the parking garage, and I'm heading over to the Hyatt. I've already checked into the room. I already dropped my stuff off. The roommate was there. Stuff's already been dropped off, so. But I literally had to come back out to this parking garage because I forgot the very GoPro I'm recording with right now, so. I mean, hey, if that's the first blunt, if that's like the worst thing that happens this weekend, great. But I think I'm gonna go hang out, find people that are here. This was kind of the main thing. So I'll probably start tomorrow off, which is a fresh vlog for the actual weekend itself. And we'll go from there. But we made it to Dragon Con, travel day is over. So I'm ready to have some fun, have a great weekend. Thanks for watching this video guys. If you liked what you see here, leave the like, subscribe to the channel, comment, all that good stuff, and I will see y'all next time.